The kidneys serve our body by filtering our blood and removing waste products and regulating fluid levels. The kidneys produce urine to help remove these waste products. The main parts of the kidney consist of the capsule, the cortex, the renal pyramid, the renal papilla, minor calyx, major calyx, renal pelvis, ureter, the bladder, the trigone, and the urethra. A common problem that more than a million Americans are affected with and over 300,000 go to the emergency room for is the formation of a kidney stone. Stones may form in our kidneys due to low urine volume and high concentration of stone forming substances. The stone forming substances come in the form of tiny crystals that collect in the renal tubes, calluses, and the renal pelvis area. These crystals may simply pass through without problem, however, they may collect together to form larger crystal masses. These masses are the calculi or the stone. Many types of stones may form, but there are four common stones. Struvite, a stone that is usually formed due to a bacteria and causing infection in the body. Most common in women and can be most dangerous due to infection. Cysteine, a stone that is caused by a rare inherited metabolic disorder that affects only 1% of the population due to high cysteine levels. Uric acid is a stone that is formed due to acidic urine with high levels of uric acid. The uric acid stones are mostly caused by a diet high in purines and a metabolic disorder that is inherited and often accompanied by gout. Calcium stones are stones that are the most common. About 80% of the stones are calcium stones. These stones can be calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate stones. Calcium stones are formed usually due to the kidney's inability to control the amount of calcium in the urine. Calcium phosphate stones are rare and are caused by the kidney's inability to properly acidify the urine. Kidney stones can be very painful and sometimes harmful to the kidneys when passed. The stone will continue to grow in mass and at some time, for reasons unknown, will detach and move into the renal pelvis. The stone will then continue its path down the ureter. At times, the stone may get stuck and cause a backup of urine, which could cause an infection or other complications. The stone will continue its path down the ureter and exit tiny openings in the bladder, or in the trigone area of the bladder. The stone will deposit into the bladder and move its way into the urethra and then exit the body.